Stormfront, Jim Butcher, with a presently surprising book. Uh, I say presently surprising, I'm like, oh, Ben, this is a famous book, why are you pleasantly surprised? But, for one thing, I mean, the cover, it doesn't look like myself, my reading taste. And, the first thing for, I hear that, um, one of the, the first book is one of the worst books, and so, yeah, that's what I was hearing, and then, and then just like, just like, it doesn't, you know, look like my style, or look like I, what I would do, but I was presently, pleasantly surprised by this book, and how, it was amazing, and it was a page turner, and, like, it wasn't perfect, obviously, it's just not, like, a huge novel, like, like, an epic fantasy, it's not epic fantasy, it's urban fantasy, a different kind of fantasy, but, it was amazing, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm, I'm going to not spoil anything, but I'm going to start giving synopsises and just like more a summary of what this book is and just no spoilers because it's kind of shaped like a murder mystery. The start kind of felt like one of those old murder things where the lady comes in or and then, and then like to this detective or like missing persons case to report a missing person and it starts out like that. Some of the investigations give you vibes of that missing person thing. But it kind of evolves from that very quickly. It goes from like, because Harry's not like that kind of detective that you would see. And he is like, it's very funny, very quirky. <clears throat> and like, Harry's a great character. He's, it's told from his point of view in first person, which is, I have not read that since Percy Jackson. It's been a while, so. Uh, it, I was really good, like the writing style camp, it's not that deep because it's first person. It's kind of just from his perspective. But it was amazing because like the story kind of takes out like that, and then once you feel, there's a magical twist to it, like because someone's obviously using magic to do what all these murders that are happening, and you you can see how he like takes it, and I think this uh, series is a perfect blend between like actually knowing what we're doing and just like and absurd like not absurdism just like doing whatever the magic system is like a perfect blend because his best friend's a skull he knows vampires all the mythical fa all your typical fantasy races exist and it's just very like that but also the magic system feels kind of like planned out and does not like he's making stuff up it's a perfect blend of these two things it's because like the magic system is he's like a wizard and he's the only wizard in chicago and you, you kind of hear stuff about the white council so there's more wizards he's not the only he's not just a random wizard they plan we have not met the white council i i hope we do he just gets so it gets more interesting like that but it was a great book and then the um <clears throat> the original the plot twist or not, i'm not going to say what it was but i did not get it until just right before whenever he was talking to some of these characters and just like because he knows um he's a great it's a great character like he's a great strong character but one problem i do have with the dresden files are these covers Every cover is just a picture of him holding his blasting rod, is what he calls it. But, um, just a dark picture of him holding his blasting rod, I have a problem with those. But I'm just gonna get them in mass market because they're really cheap. So, yeah, so, it was a great novel. I, like, it was hard to put down, it was a page turner because it's a mystery. And that's what kept me reading more and more. And, because I, I, I cared about it. And I think, yeah, that really hooks you right, right off the bat. It's a great just like a great way to pull someone in and I hope they branched away from mystery because I'm currently reading full moon or full moon not full moon right now and there's the same thing that's kind of happening but I'm not going to say anything about it I hope they kind of branch off in this book in this full moon but this was very impressive for the first book and if the series only gets better this is I'm really excited so I plan to read two or three books a month like this and I can, I shove this in while I was reading Fires of Heaven in like four days at the same time I was reading Fires of Heaven. Amazing novel. You should definitely pick it up. Stormfront by Jim Butcher. I give it a five out of five stars. It was not perfect. Writing style wasn't great. I don't have any major criticisms though, so. I mean, yeah. It's just a great book and it's very light read. It's definitely not for children, I wouldn't say, but very light. It's just like, it's very easy to think about and yeah. So that, that was today's review, so see you in the next video.